name is Wesley Bauer. We've got Kevin here, and today we're going to ask Kevin all the hard questions. He gets to be our victim here, and the question that I think is on everybody's mind is, when, after the COVID crisis, when are things going to be going back to normal? Yeah, Wesley, I mean, okay, so let's write this up here. Um, after COVID, when... Do we specifically the international freight? Okay. When do we get back to normal for international freight? So all right. So after COVID, when do we get back to normal for international freight? So let's think about this. How how does international freight come into the country? I mean, uh, either by ocean or it's flown in. Okay, so we've got two ways international freight primarily comes into the country. Mm -hmm. It's either coming in on, uh, on a ship, on mm -hmm. ocean, or it's coming in on air, on an airplane, mm -hmm. or a, uh, yeah, on, on an airplane, and, and we do, we have some international freight moving between Mexico and Canada, but it's fairly nominal. So we got ocean and air. We do both of them here at Easley, and we help primarily freight forwarders move freight internationally all over the world. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so let's look at this. Has anything happened in air and ocean with, with international? I mean, everything just kind of came to a complete freeze. Yes, okay. So... On international freight flows, a lot of international freight, for people that don't know out there, goes on the air side on international flights. That um, if you're flying to Europe, for instance, there's potentially freight that is moving to Europe or China or wherever. So international flights pretty much all got canceled, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so that's going to affect air, right? Mm -hmm. On the ocean side, do you know, like, did you see anything going on with any of the cruise lines? Yeah, they, they wouldn't let anyone come to the shore. <laughs> so they wouldn't let people come to shore. They're doing the same thing. It's crazy. With um, some of the ocean liners, some of the steamship lines, they, there's freight sitting literally all over the world in, in, on steamships in the ocean, wow. and we're having problems getting this stuff into ports for a variety of reasons. Either the ports are shut down, mm -hmm. so you've got ports that are being shut down or they're partially open mm -hmm. or you've got like just uh, concerns about who's on the literal ship mm -hmm. are we going to mm -hmm. let those people on the ships into America or wherever mm -hmm. just yeah. like with the cruise lines right mm -hmm. so if we move from this international freight and this air and ocean if we think about what's going on we've got a crazy amount like we've got this international travel all being completely disrupted mm -hmm. so you've got one reason that you've got a problem here is because you got international travel just completely just completely disrupted mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so that's creating all kind of habit for international freight mm -hmm. one of the next things that starts happening from this is we have an economic fallout from this right absolutely yeah so yeah. let's just think through that real quickly we got economic fallout here in the United States because mm -hmm. of this current crisis what happened Nothing was being shipped anymore. Okay, so the shipping pretty much stopped. That happened, right? Mm -hmm. So that affected all travel pretty I mean, the, the travel stopped too. Travel, mm -hmm. you know, travel had stopped basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what else started happening in the U.S.? I mean, if you can't get your supplies, you can't manufacture anything. Yeah, so manufacturing pretty much slowed or stopped mm 